One, two, three, four! Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, far the best of friends. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, fun that never ends. No matter what the weather, we sing out loud together. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, never want to stay at home. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, just like salt and pepper. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, have their fun one night. No matter what the weather, we sing out loud together. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, never want to stay at home. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, never want to stay at home. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, never want to stay at home. Birthday. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Tina, happy birthday! Happy birthday, Tina! Oh, we've all been saving together. Check out all that dough! You'd be set on ice cream forever and ever with that. With all that, we could all go to the carnival and ride rides. Carnival! 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 Let's go to the carnival! Hang on, it's my birthday present. Isn't it my birthday choice? <sighs> of course, it's your money. Right, you guys? Happy birthday! Time for me to pick what to buy. Oh, cool! Can I get uh, one of those and uh, all those? <gasps> it's too much. I don't think we can finish. If only our friends were here with us. Some balloons will be nice. Huh? Oh, this was a mistake! I'm blowing away! Let go of the balloons! But they're my balloons! That doesn't matter now! Ah! That sure was a lot of them. Probably enough for everyone. But they were for my birthday, Tony. Let's go to the carnival. I want to ride it forever. Five tickets. Mm, wait, ten. money, but nothing makes me happy. This is the loneliest birthday ever. <laughs> Don't cry, Tina. Oh, hey! I've got an idea, you guys. How about we all play together? Well, it's your birthday, so it's your decision. I know that, but being alone is boring. Let's go! Yay! <laughs> one for you, and one for you, and definitely one for you.
What's that mean? My goodness, that's bad. We can have it for breakfast. No big deal. Uh, let's go to bed early tonight. A 
Okay. That way, breakfast comes even sooner. Mmm, yum yum. Well then, good night, Tina. Yep, good night, Tony. <sighs> good morning, Tony. Huh? Hmm. Oh, good morning. Last night, I dreamed we were eating the pie. Speaking of which, did you eat the whole thing? Me? It was all gone when I came in. Look. Wasn't me. I'll never eat before brushing my teeth. That means somebody else stole it? <gasps> but who? They probably had lots of bad dreams. There's just one thing to do. Catch them! Can we have a slice just to try it? It's not for us to eat, Tony. This is thief bait. All ready! Now we'll stay awake. They're going down. Ugh. We're sleeping. The pie is gone. We've been bamboozled again. The thief somehow returned. We'll just have to make a better trap. <laughs> Now we wait. Yep. each other. That's so funny. Does that mean that we're the thieves? Yeah. We're sleep eating. At night. That's so strange. I should have known better. Well, you know, I haven't had any bad dreams. Same here. Let's just eat it then. What's the harm? Yeah. Cranberry Danish. Our late night snack is served. What about our bad dreams? The new scientific sleep journal suggests it's best not to go to sleep on an empty stomach. So perhaps a small snack couldn't hurt. All right, what, what you said. said. Everything in moderation, including moderation. Dig in, friends. Cooking by the book. What a nice day. <gasps> I think we should do a picnic. We'll eat all around here and go swimming. And then all our friends can come. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. I'll bake a pie, and you can bring the swimming stuff. No, not a chance. You take forever to make a pie. I'll do it in no time. You get the swim stuff. And all these things need recipes, right? And the dough takes a lot of work. What? Uh... No way, Tony. My way of baking is fast. Last one to the picnic is a rotten a hippo. Hmm. I'll make the best blueberry pie of all time with these delicious blueberries that are all gone. I can't make a pie now. Hmm, I'll bake bread. Morning, everyone. Want to come to a picnic? Hey there! Sounds picnic? fun! What's that? We all eat outside and go swimming. Best of all, Tina's making blueberry pie. Ooh! Sounds fun! Well, <laughs> looks like we'll need more swimming caps in that case. Come with me! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tony, do you think there'll be enough pie for all of us? I bet I could eat ten. 
and pies. Tony always says he uses three cups of flour. Hmm, I think I'll just pour. And here you go. Let's go swimming. Here are your swim caps. Hooray! Wonder when we get to eat already. Hungry shark out of the way. <laughs> Maybe I overdid the baking soda a bit. Now will it go in the oven? Hmm, not bad. No need to bake. I think it's done. We're tired of swimming! Yeah! Let's just relax. I'm sure Tina will be here soon. <laughs> Wish we had caps that fit. I think ours came in hippo size. Oh, man, I'm late. I bet they're already swimming and having a blast. But just wait until they see my pie thing. Picnics aren't really so fun. This is more boring than picking berries. <laughs> Ah, what a beautiful day. <laughs> We're still waiting on Tina to come. What's that on the hill? It's a huge monster. Oh, I'll protect you from whatever that thing is. Ta-da! May I present the world's best ever pie thing. Or a what bread pie that? thing. Go on, have a bite. It's delicious and still relatively fresh. Uh, whoa, what's up there? A bicycle? And a jump rope! I see a ball up there! You were right, Tony. I guess there's a reason bakers use recipes. I wouldn't worry about it. You brought the piglets more things to do. Also, look, there's still time to make pie. <laughs> Now that's the way to make a proper pie. <laughs> Picnics are the best thing ever! Playing house! Wanna play ball? I'm tired of kicking the ball. We play all the time. Something else. Hide and seek? We've run all out of hiding spots. Well then... How about playing mommy and kids? I don't know about that. I'm not sure about playing mom or kid, cause I'm a man. Sure, Tony, whatever you say, we'll play house. I'm the kid, you're the dad. Let's go play. So, you're Papa, you watch news and check stock markets. These are stereotypes. That's the entire point of playing house. Huh? Three points to the Crocodile The news is so bad. Come on, come on. That's so wrong. No, no, no! Pa, pa! I'm tired of watching Gator Ball. I think cartoons are best. Tina, er, daughter, go play by yourself. It's almost intermission. <laughs> ah, don't like it. <laughs> Behave or you'll get time out. Oh, yeah? Do that running thing. Go, go. Do a sports ball. My hmm? son, who said you could watch TV? Is your homework all done? But, Mom. Don't mom me. Hmm? Go to your homework. And do it right. <sighs> Mommies don't watch fun cartoons. They watch boring shows with ladies talking. Up next, celebrity do's and don'ts from the Cat Gala. And of course, this season's trends are effortlessly edgy and will only take you several hours of effort. 
first, we have the fabulous wooden shoe line from Oscar de Echidna. The taller, the better. Not to mention, long dresses are coming back in a big way. And as for hairstyles, don't forget the braids. Big, voluminous Mom, braids are I'm the hungry. season must have. Okay, now Mom will go cook your lunch. <laughs> Like Mama will be mad. What are you doing there? Adults have to clean. It's more fun to be a kid. Come help me clean up. Okay, Papa. Do you have a spare broom? <sighs> it's not easy playing dad. Or Mama. Or kid, too. Yeah, you're right. At least we can watch cartoons now. Anything but the news, Tina. <laughs> <laughs> I got a better idea. Let's go play outside. Last one out to Rotten Hippo. <laughs> Space Friend. Ooh, there's another one. There are so many shooting stars out tonight. I bet we can make a million wishes. I wish for cookie cake. Oh, that's so small. You could wish for anything you want, you know? Fine. What would you wish for then? Uh, I know. I wish that I could someday meet an alien from another planet. Oh. <gasps> huh? No way. Now! <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> There's nothing to fear. I'm Tina. Most adorable ice cream. <laughs> Goodbye, new friends. Come back soon, okay? <gasps> Come back. <laughs> I 
I think his ship needs some more jam. That's just too bad. But we need to help him or he won't be able to go home. Maybe I don't want him to go back home. Huh? One more scoop should do it. Here it goes. <laughs> wow, it worked. Uh... Whoa. Stuff. It's ice cream. Wow, you're right. Thanks, space friend. <laughs> Hooray! Space secrets. Get me off this planet, said Bubba. Do you even have a spaceship, said the captain. I can build one, said Bubba. We'll come find you when you're done building one. And meanwhile, keep hiding our secrets. Secret, secret. Tony, let's go for a walk. Oh, not now. I'm sleeping. Sleep? It's daytime. Uh, sorry. Maybe later. It's very important. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. mm. Hi, Penguin. I'm afraid it's only me today. Huh? Farewell, Broken TV. It only played the Snowstorm Channel. And that was boring! Huh? The whole thing's gone! I'm sure I'm tired of my old bicycle. Ugh, wish someone would take it off my hands. Huh? Huh. <laughs> oh, ah! huh. I got you now, you sneaky Tony. What are you doing down there? Give me your hand. Lending me the spike is really cool. I'll just finish my spaceship and join the ranks of the huh? captain. You're leaving for space just like that? And me? Uh, you... You can come as well, since we're friends. But don't tell anyone at all, because it's the secret of the captains. I'm the best at keeping secrets. Oh, hi, Piglets. Uh, want to come uh, to space with us? I want to go! <laughs> but it is a secret, right, Tony? Not now. It's not a secret now. Yes, it is. Just a little less. It's all ruined. Now the huh? space captains won't come. Wait, come back! Just go play without me. Bubba waved despondently as the captains flew away. Since he had built his own ship, Bubba was now one of their ranks. And like that, he was ready for takeoff. Looks like my spaceship is ready to go to. I'm a space captain. Huh? If they're not coming now, can, 
Can we go for a walk instead? We think it'd be fun. You're all right on time. Would you like to be a part of my spaceship crew? We are going to space. Yeah! Oh, I feel bad for not keeping your secret. I was just so excited. Secrets are hard to keep. Yeah, I know they are, especially ones as cool as this one. Plus, we're our own band of space captains. Yeah, we have our own secrets. Prepare for liftoff. Three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> Weighing out ingredients. Gordon Raccoonzy bakes the world's largest apple pie. to bake a huge pie, but I don't know how much of everything to put in to make it really huge. Ugh, I'm getting nowhere. Silly Tony, don't give up yet. A huge dessert. Just how big? Elephant huge, that huge. Well, you have an elephant right here. That's a start. Hmm. <gasps> Whoa! To bake a pie that weighs as much as an elephant, we'll need to start with water. So go and have a seat, okay? We got it. Next to add flour, about half as much of the water. So if we need half the amount of water, the flour amount on the seesaw will be half of you. How will that work? Hmm, maybe sit halfway on. Or better yet, just hop on really fast so you weigh half as much as normal. Ah, that makes perfect sense. Yeah! Whoa. Huh? And here's where we dig. Oh, the hole is already dug. Have you seen a bag of flour? Ooh. There it is. Does your flour always fly around? We were trying to weigh it. I needed half an elephant's worth of it. Uh, it's harder than it sounds. But look, I'm making the world's biggest pie. It's just... I just came up with a new plan. Come with me. Rabbits, jump. Felicia, we're really busy here. You're too small to play with us. But I'm old enough to play on the seesaw. Got it. One Tina equals six rabbits. Half that is therefore equal to, uh, three of you guys. Get the flower, and we need three of you. Go to this side. Be real careful with that flower. Hello. I'm a grown-up rabbit. Okay, bye, Felicia. Great, one half elephant of flour. Now two rabbits of butter. You got it! Eggs next. Five rabbits. Sugar? Just one. <laughs> that looks like everything. Tony, what about the salt? Hmm, salt is only half as much as the sugar. Now I'm all confused again. Come on, don't give up now. But Tina, to get that amount of sugar, you need to weigh the amount huh? of half of one rabbit. Uh... Oh, Felicia! Huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. <gasps> Thanks to Felicia, we measured everything. That's it? We're done already? Do you have anything else to weigh? Not even a teeny tiny bit? We're all done. It's time to knead the dough and get to baking it. While Tony is kneading, it seems like we're needing to weigh more items. This bicycle weighs... Two of us! My vacuum? One of me! <laughs> How about this? Ways. As much as everyone! And that's how Gordon Raccoonsy's record was broken by the hippo from Cookie Village. The sweet toy makes new solutions and the results taste great. 
to find a mushroom. Tina, it's raining really weird. Come look. <laughs> How can it be raining? It's sunny outside. Don't know, but look, the rain makes the mushrooms so glad. They grow extra fast when it's rainy and sunny at the same time. Hooray! We're going to pick mushrooms today. my basket first with the most beautiful mushrooms I can find. Picking mushrooms will be this hard. I thought I'd be super good at it. Don't feel down. Remember, there's still one thing you do better than anyone. What? <laughs> <laughs> that making everybody happy. <laughs> to see or, or not, not to see. see. Hey, that's weird. Hmm. What's wrong? It seems you'll temporarily need glasses. Here you go. At least until your eyesight recovers. Glasses? Ooh, glasses. Wow, I want glasses too. Please? There's no need, Tina. You have 20-20. Your eyes are just fine. I don't want to wear these. It's not my style. How about I wear them instead of you, Tony? Sounds good to me. We just won't tell Mouse, okay? Okay. 
Do I look so stylish? Whoa! You look the most stylish, of course. Just grab the noodles, some veggies, and some salt. Got it. Hi there. Oh, hey, come on in. I'm afraid my lawnmower's busted again. Can you help? Of course. I can come right after lunch. Mmm. <laughs> Macaroni with freshly grated cheese. Huh? Eat up. Uh, thanks a lot, but how about we go eat lunch mm -hmm. in my place? You know, just to, uh, save time. Hmm. Which clip-on earrings today? Glasses go with everything. I love it. So cute. <laughs> See? It won't start. Do you have the manual? Ah, uh, let's see here. Why don't you read from this? And I'll just do what it says. I bet that'll save time, too. First, make sure the engine meter is on green. Never start your engine if the meter is already on red. Make sure the fuel cover is screwed on tight. Ah, uh, there's your problem. The cap was loose. Okay, try that. All right, it started. Cool, we fixed it up. Don't hurt me. Oh no, it'll mow the entire village to nothing. Let's go, that mower must be stopped. Uh -oh. oh hey, what's new? Afternoon, Foxy. Whoa, nice glasses. Super stylish. Come sit with me. Why, thank you. I'll take a seat right, uh, aha, right here. Uh, 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 uh. Sorry about that, Foxy. Uh, it's fine, Tina. Would you like a sip? I would, thanks. Oh, uh, what are you? Uh, oh! Sorry about that. <laughs> Didn't mean to grab your nose. <laughs> Right? The meter was on green. Tony, put these on. Huh? Well, now I see the problem. This switch right here should be in the green. And that's the fuel cap. Now it's on nice and tight. Do you think it'll work now? Let's hope. I don't know. Don't worry. It's fine now that I have these on. Let's try it. Go on. Awesome! It works now! Thanks, Tony! Hooray! Oh. Can you see? Yes, I can! I have good vision! A star, an elephant, a blob! Good job! Your eyesight's improved. Be careful not to read at night. You should be good to go from here. Take good care of your eyes, Tina and Tony. Huh? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the wolf. Tony, Tina, you haven't seen a wolf, have you? There are no wolves in Cookie Village. See now, there are no wolves. Huh? Who are you talking to? Felicia. Hello. What are you doing in there? I'm frightened. She's frightened of everything. Storms are scary, the dark is scary, and now this wolf is scary, too. A wolf! Go on, Rabbit. You do what needs doing, and we'll deal with the wolf. So where's this wolf, then? Oh! Wolf, where oh. are you? Wolf? He's in the tree! <laughs> hmm, yes. A tricky case. This calls for extraordinary measures. When Tony is in, Tina too. Tina, give me your hand.
It's a wolf trap. <gasps> if the wolf turns up, he's definitely going to want to eat the sheep. But the sheep are wooden. The wolf will break his teeth on them and run away. <laughs> Great! See, Felicia? Now I've got nothing to fear from the wolf. Let's go home. Hey! Oh no! The sheep! Five and six and seven and eight! The sheep! If you want to grow up big and strong, eat your pudding, pudding and you won't go wrong. One, here. two, uh -huh. three, I'm here. four, yes. five, That's six, Over here. seven. Felicia! <sighs> Tony! 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 Felicia! Felicia's gone! gone. There's a wolf in Cookie Village! There's no wolf, Rabbit, remember? Let's go! <laughs> there she is! Over there! Felicia, we're coming! Don't be afraid! Oh, I'm not afraid. What are you doing here? Go on, have your supper and off to bed! I can't. I'm watching over the sheep. If that wolf comes for them, he'll get it from me! I don't think she'll leave without the sheep. Uh, I should have made the sheep from straw. Uh, they wouldn't be so heavy then. She fell asleep by herself, and in a storm like this. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tina. You've taught Felicia to be brave. You've got the sheep to thank for that, not us. Felicia was so afraid for them that she became brave. Good night, you two. Rabbit, could we stay the night with you? It's just such a terrible storm. <laughs> <laughs> Getting cold feet. What? Wouldn't it be fun to make a snowman? No way! Not as much fun as skiing! 
Most. Well, fine. But you kept moving around. I know. Hm. How about we stop drawing portraits and instead do landscapes? Oh, okay. <laughs> What's that? A landscape just means we paint the outside. Why do we need to go to a tree to draw? Ugh. I remember how trees look. I'll imagine a tree. Like that one. Or like that one. Any imaginary tree. That's not the point, Tina. These drawings aren't supposed to be imaginary. Landscapes are drawing what's real. Trees are the perfect thing to draw. They're still. They won't move around while you draw. It's great, huh? So which of these trees will be our subject? Maybe a pine tree or an oak or... Huh? The apple tree. So, how does one start these, uh, landscapes? It's simple. Just paint exactly what you see. Hmm. Ah. First you paint the branches, then the leaves, and under those tasty apples. Make sure to get the bark stripey. Oh, what's that? What are you doing? What does it look like? I made a bear. What's a bear doing there? Nothing. He's having a good time. I mean, why did you draw a bear? You told me to draw what I see. And over there, I happen to see a bear. Ugh. Am I supposed to draw the ice cream penguin too now? Actually, both of my subjects are leaving. Now there's nobody to draw. That's why you should draw just nature and trees. They never go anywhere at all. They always stay in one place. You forgot that nature also has very bouncy rabbits. Look at them hop. Nerd ball. Oh, look. There goes the rest of the apples. <laughs> Did you at least manage to draw the apples while they were still on? Yep. Now I have to erase them. What a pain to do. I'm not finished. 
finished yet. I wasn't trying to look anyway. So now that the apples are inside the bear, how do I draw them? You don't. I told you, only draw what you see. I see rabbits having a really bad day. That's just heartbreaking. Focus on your painting. Hey, Bear's back. He brought the ice cream with him. I'm not even going to try drawing the ice cream. That'll disappear immediately. Huh? Now the penguin disappeared, too. This is turning out to be a very interesting subject. <laughs> Whatever Bear's doing, it looks like fun, right? Well, there they go. Now to focus. This tree just needs a few finishing touches on the branches and we'll be all... Hey, what's going on? Huh? Huh? You. All done. You're done? Show me. Well, it's not very realistic, but it's okay. Don't feel bad. Not all landscapes can be as realistic as mine is. On Earth? Where's the tree? Didn't have room for it. No big deal. Nature is tough. Next time we'll try Impressionism. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.